Hey guys, I hope you can see okay. I have my little potting mat set up and I'm going to be repotting a couple plants in this video. And I asked over on my Instagram any assumptions that you all had about me and I got a few responses. So I figured I would answer those in this video, make it a little fun. And I have a couple plants I'll show you that I'm going to be repotting. the camera a little bit closer this table's in the way I can't get my tripod any closer than this but yes let me show you the plants I'm going to be repotting first the first one is this silver band maranta isn't it beautiful so I got this in this container it's a two inch pot and marantas love water this is drying out way too fast and I don't like to repot in winter but this plant is going to suffer if I don't upsize it. So it's not that much bigger. This is, I think, it's supposed to be a four inch, but it looks like a three inch. Um, I'm gonna upsize him into this pot. I'm not going to mess with his roots. I'm just going to gently lift him out of here and put him in a little bit of a bigger pot. So that's the first one. And then this is a satin jade skindapsis. Isn't that beautiful? And I got this not too long ago. I haven't done anything with it. I gave it some water. It's been in quarantine and I honestly just have neglected it since I got it. And I don't know, I gave it some water and the soil is just kind of compacted. It's like not absorbing that well. So I'm gonna go ahead and repot this guy. And I have a cutting that was in my prop box. This guy has been propagating for months and I could not get any root growth. And I finally chopped, there was like multiple nodes on this stem. And I finally chopped it. And after like a couple weeks of chopping, I had some root growth. And it's probably been in there at least over a month rooting. So I have like a crazy long root. So I'm gonna be adding this into the pot as well. And I'm just gonna use, these are my five inch white nursery pots. I just like the white pot. So I'm going to be potting him into here and adding this cutting in there as well. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing in this video. And I will go over the assumptions that you guys have about me. So yeah. Okay, I'm gonna do my Maranta first. I think that's gonna be easier, so. And I have my potting mix here. This is just my normal mix that I always use. And yeah, the first assumption that someone wrote is I get bougie vibes from you. <laughs> and that's not true. Um, I'm not bougie at all, like far from it. You know, I have been working at the hospital for like 10 years and wearing scrubs and just working night shift for so long. I just feel like on my days off, I have always just looked and felt like a garb and since I haven't been working, I feel like these last four months, I just, it's nice to get clothes on and get yourself put together. And yeah, so it's been nice. You know, I kind of feel back to normal as a night shift nurse. It just makes you feel tired all the time and you just don't feel like doing anything at all. And yeah, I'm just really glad I'm not working anymore, like at the hospital, at least night shift. Cause yeah, it takes a toll on your body after a while. So Yes, I kind of got off topic a bit, but no, I'm not bougie. I don't have like bougie things and you know, I go out all the time without makeup and I don't have to like get myself together and all that. So yeah, I don't know. And my nails like have never gotten long before because again, at the hospital, they always break, you know, opening a million pill packets and you know just the alcohol and everything just dries my nails out and I just never had long nails but now that I haven't been working they've gotten long and I've just like appreciated how long they've gotten so yes not bougie at all so I don't know I don't know if I give that impression that I'm bougie but I'm not <laughs> so this is the Maranta. I just am just kind of filling up around the edges. I didn't really mess with the roots at all. I just want to get him into a bigger pot size. If I'm a little awkward in this video, this is kind of awkward to film. So 
I don't know if it's awkward. <laughs> I hope this one does better. It had a new leaf coming out not that long ago. Which one was it now? I think it was. I think it was one of these little ones was a new leaf, but it actually has another new leaf coming on this other side. So I think it's definitely going to be happier in this mix for sure. Uh, this mix I kind of made a little too chunky this time, so I'm trying to take some of those bigger chunky pieces out of here. Because Marantas do love their water. And I'm going to give this thing a good drink after this video because it needs it. All right, let's do another assumption. I had a couple questions about children that I don't have children and do I have kids? And that's kind of a sensitive topic because I have struggled with infertility for years and years. And I'm kind of at a point now in my life, you know, cause I'm older. So I've kind of just gotten used to the fact that if it hasn't happened by now, then it's probably not going to happen, but yeah, we've done like infertility treatments before and wasn't successful. So yeah, I don't know. I've kind of, we've kind of accepted the fact that if we don't have kids, it's fine. Um, you know, I really wanted them at one point, but it's just been me and my husband for so long that, you know, if we don't have kids, I think we're both okay with that now. So yeah, I don't know. I kind of get, I try not to think about it too much because, you know, I still get sad over it sometimes, but yeah, we've just never been able to have any. So that's why, but we have three cats and a dog that keep us busy. So yes. <laughs> Yay. That looks so much better. Look. It's got a little bit of yellowing. This um, plant was shipped to me in the mail and Marantas do not like to be shipped at all. And so it has a little bit of discoloration. That was from the original leaf that it came like that so yeah I think it's gonna be much happier in this pot I'm gonna give him a good soak after here that one was the easy one and so this one I'm just going to yeah I'm going to completely try and take off a lot of this soil and it's that way because this container is smaller around so I might have a harder time putting those in here without breaking apart some of that soil so yes so what I'm going to do next. All right, so I'm going to put some soil in the bottom of here. All right, next question that I love plants and cats more than people. <laughs> Sometimes, no. No, I, I like people and I like having, you know, friends and going out and doing things with other people, but I am an introvert, you guys. I just enjoy the company of my home and just being here. I don't know, I like to go out, but I just like being at home. Sometimes I just get uncomfortable in public. It's just like my personality. And being around like people I don't know, it just makes me really anxious and nervous. So I don't know, sometimes I just have a hard time with that. You know, you would think the older that I get, I would grow out of it, but I still haven't. I just, I'm getting better, you know, especially with Instagram and being on my stories and Filming for YouTube, I've kind of broken out of my shell a bit. Yes, of course I love my plants and my cats, but I don't love them more than people because if you didn't have people, then you would be very lonely, so. Ooh, look at those roots. It's not super root bound. You can kind of see the water level a little bit. I don't know, I just thought the soil seemed a bit compacted, so I'm just gonna loosen it a little bit and add it back into here. So yeah, let's do another one. Oh, this kind of plays onto what I said before that I'm shy and timid at first, but really fun once warmed up. And that is true. I am very, very shy and quiet and awkward. And I don't know, I think some people might mistake that. I feel like some people mistake that as me being like stuck up or you know, just like, I don't want to talk to you, but the actual reason is I'm just shy and I'm just quiet and I never know what to say. So I'm never one to like initiate conversation. It's usually hard for me. So yes, I'm very shy, but yes, once you 
know me and I get to know you, I warm up and I just feel better around you. And yeah, especially when I'm drinking a little wine, then I'll warm up for sure. No, <laughs> but yes, I've just always been that way. I've always been shy. I've always been quiet. So yeah, it's just who I am. And I like, I mean, I like being the way that I am and, and stuff. I mean, I wouldn't want to change it. I just kind of wished I was a little bit more outgoing. So yes. Look at those roots. I got off a lot of that dirt. I'm not going to mess too much with them. And this just looks like a lot of like peat moss and a little bit of perlite. I don't think there's anything like wrong with this. It just definitely is very dense. So I'm just going to use my mix. Oh yeah, let me see. I'm probably going to have to add a little bit of dirt back in here. I don't know, I've always wanted a Scandapsis Jade Satin, so I found this at a local plant shop, probably, it's probably been at least three weeks, so I have a little bit of dirt in there. And this cutting here, I'm going to try and take off a lot of this moss. I have a couple more assumptions here. Uh, the next one is that you were a nurse, and I am a nurse, that's true. I graduated in 2011, so I've been working as a nurse for almost 10 years, and I've just done one type of nursing. I've been working at a hospital at bedside the entire time, and I did mostly night shift. I did do, you know, day shift as well, but mostly nights, and yeah, it's been challenging the last couple of years, you know, with the pandemic. It's been it's been hard and it's been tough and it's caused a lot of stress on me and just you know everyone just in healthcare and other professions that have that have to deal with everything it's, it's been hard look at that root isn't that crazy i love seeing roots i don't know i just think roots are just so cool to look at so yeah it's been hard and that's the reason why I quit. I just got to a point where I just, I just was too stressed, you know, stressed outside of work, you know, dreading going into work every day. It's just not a fun feeling, feeling like that. So I, I have never experienced burnout in my life with any job that I've had. And I never felt that way working as a nurse. It wasn't until like, I'd say like halfway through the pandemic that I started feeling like burnt out, just confused about everything. And that's not really a, a way to feel, especially about a job. You know, I feel like if you get to that point, you just need to reevaluate things. And that's kind of where I was at. And, you know, I've enjoyed working as a nurse. I don't know if I'll ever do nursing again, honestly. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do for work when I move. I would love to do something with plants. Yeah, I've enjoyed working as a nurse at the bedside, taking care of people. I enjoyed my coworkers so much. And we always had the best time and yeah it's just been challenging so yes but bottom line is I'm still licensed I just am not working right now because of the move I wanted to take some time off um before we moved out of state and our house keeps getting delayed so I never was planning on being off work for this long so yes it's been nice and I'm going to miss you know not having to work but I'm going to have to find a job in Savannah so Yes. Don't know what I'll do yet, but I don't think I can go back to what I was doing before. This looks so good in the white pot. I'm glad I'm finally getting around to doing this because I've been slacking. Sometimes when I buy a new plant, I don't feel like taking care of it right, right away. So I let it sit and just let it be. But a lot of the times too, I feel like that's a good thing because I quarantine plants anyway in case they have pests. And a lot of the times I feel the soil is just way too wet, so I just don't even bother it. I just let the plant just acclimate. And it usually acc acclimates in the dark. It doesn't get any light. And I haven't noticed any issues with my plants doing that. So, works for me. And I had one more assumption. <laughs> this one's funny. Um, the other assumption was about my age, and they couldn't believe how old I was. And yes, when I was that age, I would get that I was older all the time because of my height. I'm just tall and 
yeah, and now that I'm older, I get that I'm younger, which I'll take, so yes, thank you. <laughs> but yes, I am 36, and it has gone by so fast. I, I think it's just because working at the hospital, I feel like all I did was work, eat, sleep, go back to work, and I just like blinked, and I'm 36 already, so it's definitely gone super fast, so enjoy the years now because they will fly by and yeah I mean 36 isn't any different than like 26 I mean I feel the same I don't feel well maybe I feel a little bit older but yes it's just a number age is a number so yes but I will take it I will take that I am younger looking <laughs> so yeah this is almost done this looks so good. So this is the cutting that I put in at the end here, the one that's kind of curled, and the rest of the plant is here, so. And there's some new growth. This is a new leaf, and there's another new little leaf here. And I'm just gonna water these and clean the leaves off camera on this guy, so. Yes, that was all the assumptions that you guys had about me. I might have to do another one on my Instagram at some point and see if there's any more assumptions that you guys have about me. But it's been fun. I don't know. I wanted to film this video. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. I was, I was actually wanting to repot a different plant, but the pot that I ordered, it still isn't here. So I am going to do that probably in a separate video, but... Oh, there's another new leaf. I didn't know that. Usually skinned. Oh, there's three new leaves. Oh, there's four. <gasps> what? There's four new growth points. What the heck? Do you guys see those? One, two, three, four. And this is a new leaf here. Scandapsis are really slow growers. So that's surprising. I don't know if the Scandapsis jade satin, this one here, is any different, but... That's surprising because this, this plant has gotten no light at all. It has been in my bathroom this whole time quarantining. So, yeah. Whoops. But it's growing, so must be happy. I did water with my liquid dirt water, my fertilizer, so I don't know if that made a difference. Yes, look how good it looks. It's so pretty. I'm going to definitely clean the leaves off. They have a lot of hard water spots. So I'm going to wipe that off. I use a mixture of vinegar and water and lemon juice. It takes away those hard water stains. You can use neem oil, but neem oil, I found it doesn't really work for taking those hard water stains away. So that's that one and the Maranta. So they look so much better now. Yay. So yeah, thank you guys for sending those assumptions in and I had a lot of fun answering them. So yes, if you want to check out my Instagram, head over to Plants by Melissa. I am active every day over there. Over there, I do a lot of stories and I post daily. So yes, you'll probably see more of these guys over there. So yes, thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys later. Child, if you get up here one more time, I swear. Yes, oh my gosh.